managing your tracks on your GPS while you are out on the field and your recording track is very important because it will save you a lot of time when you are going back to the office and you want to analyze all your tracks and um, if you are not managing them properly it's going to be very hard and you are going to spend a lot of time cutting tracks to get them organized properly here is an example of track management on a specific day we were doing some control burn on an helicopter and we worked in four different area and basically we want to get four different tracks the problem is that because we kept our gps without resetting the tracks and saving the tracks we also have all the run where the helicopter went to do some refueling and we really don't need all these tracks there what we want is exactly when we were burning so what we should have done is when we arrive on the spot just before we start our work we should have saved the track and clear the track in the current tracks and while we arrive at the end of our work for the first part then we save the track and we clear it again and we should have done the same thing for all of them the problem is that because we haven't done that we have to cut and paste all these tracks it's going to take a long time but if we would have done the right thing it would have ending up like that straight away once we connect our gps we would have straight away four different nice tracks the first one the second one third one and the fourth one so at the beginning of the first one save the track clear the track in the current tracks and when we finish our run we do the same thing again and we do the same thing for the other one so we don't have any work to do on this one maybe just rename them and they're ready to be used so an easy way to um, to manage your tracks is that every time you know you you want to record something specific a track because you're going to do some weed work or some fire or anything special it's very easy to um, initialize them so the first thing you know is you're going to jump in your car and you're going to do some work and you want to record a track you can go to your track manager go to the current track and you're going to save the actual track because you don't want to lose what was recorded before and it will give a name automatically you don't have to worry about it it will be very easy to find out so if I then click on the green tick, it will save the track. And then the important thing, it will ask me, do you want to clear the current track? And this is where you have to click yes. And that's it. From this end, it will record from the point where you are now. Okay. So then you're doing your recording, you're doing your work on the field and so on. And the thing you want to do is that once you know you finish and you want to record the specific track, you're going back to your track manager. I'm going to the current track and I'm going to save it and it will automatically give it the name and the date so we don't have to worry about that but you can give it a specific name if you want to and change it for us we're just going to click OK and once again it said do you want to uh, clear the current track we will clear the current track and then it's recording a new one and it's going to be very easy to find it later on and you don't you won't have to do some cut and paste so I really recommend that every time you go on the field, you know you're going to record something, go to the track manager, to the current track, and go to save the track and clear the track. And once you finish your work, do the same thing again all the time and you have a very easy um, uh, way to manage your track.